Hey guys, Jason with CD Customs. So for a long time, I've wanted to do a bread truck and I got an email from a, su a subscriber uh, the other day, asked if uh, I'd be interested in his dad's old truck. Um, we agreed on a price and I was there the next day. We left yesterday morning, got in late last night. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an intro before I show you guys how the trip went. Um, I will tell you, I'm not going to edit it out because there was a lot of stuff when the winch broke and then we had to put a new winch on and then the new winch didn't work. So we had to put the old winch back on. It was a mess. About nine minutes of it. You guys are more than welcome to fast forward through that. But we did have to dig this thing out of a backyard. Uh, all six tires needed air and, and then it was kind of buried a little bit. And yeah, it was a mess. But that was the adventure. So hope you guys enjoy the video. And honestly, I've never seen a 1954 bread truck. Yeah, it's a she it, it is a Chevy. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, let's see what happened. And uh, again, if you guys like this video, you want to follow this build, make sure you hit that. Well, I mean, you can subscribe, but what's most important is hitting the bell because that's when you're going to get the notifications for the build. So if you hit subscribe, you're not going to get notifications. You'll have to go in and keep checking. So appreciate it, guys. And uh, let's see what happens. Well, this early in the morning, can't really see much, but uh, got our tow rig ready. And I'm sure you already heard from the beginning of the video, but we're going to get a bread truck. So let's get rolling. So we had to get some fuel. Got the old 7.3 for this trip. I'm gonna show you guys why I like taking this instead of the gas rig. Here's the price. And of course it's California, but still, my gas rig would have taken over $100 to fill up. Because uh, it's got 40 gallons, this has, I guess like 20, maybe 25, but this one will still do about 19 miles to the gallon versus the gas rig doing seven. So, all right guys, we're gonna go get this uh, red truck. Okay, before we get going here, we're gonna air up the tires and pull this thing around. Sorry about the noise, got ahead of myself. This is where we found it. I think she looks pretty cool. So the problem is we can't get it up the ramps on the trailer. So what we're gonna have to do is air up the tires, drag it out, and then pull it up the uh, trailer forward. So that's our game plan. Let's see how it works out. All right guys, so she was stuck in the dirt. You can see where the front tires were we went ahead and gave it a little tug to get it out because the next thing we got to figure out is how to get it on my ramp without having to do the full turnaround so that's how I gave it the tug all right so we were able to find these big blocks we're gonna we're gonna block up the tire to try and raise the back end and then get it on the winch and of course our winch broke so we're throwing another winch on the trailer working on it now all right, guys, we got a new problem. We're getting ready to start trying to pull this thing up backwards. And I looked up and saw the power line. There's no way our, our bread van here is gonna fit on the deck under that line. So we have to pull it out. We do have it out of its hole, so I'm gonna drag it to the end of the driveway and see if, uh, see if this works. I'll try and get some footage of that for you guys. You know it's hard for me when I'm dropping the phone when I'm doing everything so we'll get back to you Just on the just on the bricks. Oh, okay. I was worried that it was like finding up or something. Okay, all right. Let's keep going. Are the wheels staying straight? Yes. Oh, 
Hold on, let me grab that steering wheel. Yeah, we may need to turn it now. Yeah. Doesn't look like they're staying straight. You're gonna steer it for the last time, huh? Yeah. No, oh, you're golden. Yeah, but we gotta get the back end to swing around out here. Yep, to straighten it out. Okay. Um, he needs to turn to the right. Go ahead and stop filming, we'll get back. Good. No, he needs a turn. It's good. <laughs> right on. Like we do it every day, right? In the middle of the street, pleasant hill.
going. It's going slowly but surely. Thank you. 
Going, I'm you not. Got, you got enough of this. I'm just getting from the side. Okay, so guys, if you made it to the end of the video, you you saw the mess it was. That winch just barely got this thing up on the trailer. It's definitely the last winching job that winch will do. Um, I'm going to figure out what happened to the new one today. I, I again, I I didn't have any of my testing stuff. I'm in the old 7.3, and the old 7.3 doesn't really have all my tools on it. My tools are all on the other truck, so. I had very limited tools with me, but this truck got way better fuel mileage and everything, so we took this one. I'm, maybe I just need to get more tools on it. So I'm gonna figure out what's going on with that winch. I really hope you guys follow this pro this project, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Next video, we are gonna get this thing down. We're gonna clean it up, and we're gonna see uh, what it's gonna take. Did run when it was parked, so maybe we'll get lucky. Thanks, guys.